First at 530, criminal charge dropped against the daughter of the Bristol County Sheriff. Michelle Hodgson was accused of intimidating a witness after an incident last month. Now we're hearing from her family. New at 530 tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Steve Wilson is working the story. He joins us now live in the newsroom. We spoke with Sheriff Thomas Hodge, and after his daughter was first arrested and charged, he was confident this day would come. The court appearance was less than a minute. The result, the daughter of Bristol County Sheriff Thomas Hodgson, Michelle Hodgson, is exonerated. The charges were completely unwarranted and the prosecutor made that very clear in court today and asked the judge to dismiss the case. Michelle was charged with witness intimidation. New Bedford police say she interfered with a police officer at a crime scene in August where seven people were shot. According to documents we obtained, the officer says Michelle shouted, do you know that my father's the sheriff? The evidence in the matter is simply insufficient. But in court today, the prosecutor agreed not to pursue the charge because of a lack of evidence. Knowing that her father is a sheriff, did she get any special treatment at all? Absolutely not. And uh, and uh, this, uh, I commend the district attorney for having a special prosecutor appointed. It was the right thing to do. We also spoke with Sheriff Hodgson after Michelle's arrest in August. He was adamant his daughter was innocent. This was a situation that was not at all provoked by my daughter. When I spoke with him today, he told me he stayed away from the investigation, though. We didn't want anybody when she was exonerated to be able to say that somehow uh, my office and my position here at the sheriff's office would have in any way impacted the outcome. And I was emailing back and forth with the New Bedford police chief today. He said that there's an internal investigation ongoing into this arrest. He also said that he supports the prosecutor's decision, but he would have preferred if it went before the court. In the newsroom, Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.